Now, we need a partner in this. And that partner is not just you as teachers. The partner is the federal government. And you are here in Washington. I hope your voice is to be heard by our senators, our congressmen, even one hopes the President of the United States, if his ears are open, because no child left behind has been nothing more than a mirage. It has been a failure. It has not worked. And we, we at the state level, who have made up the difference, who are putting in more and more because we appreciate how critically important it is that our children get the education they need, we must have a partner in the federal government. And that is why, come November of 08, I am hoping we will see a tidal shift in ideology and in votes cast, and especially in the leadership in the White House, so we can get somebody who understands the needs of our school children. We cannot. We cannot say to our school districts across the nation, do better, but do it without resources. No child left behind is meaningless until it is funded. It is meaningless if you as teachers do not have the capacity and the resources to educate the children. So we collectively, you as teachers, I as one governor, but all the governors of these 50 states have joined together and said to Congress, do not, do not fail to fund No Child Left Behind. It would be a travesty and it would be a degradation of our educational system. Now, let me end by asking for your support. This is a continuing saga. This is a continuing effort year after year when we craft a budget, year after year when we go back to the taxpayers and say, here is why we need to fund education. We need to work together. This is a coalition of those of us who believe in education a coalition that faces every year those who are saying we're spending too much. Those who say we already spend so many thousands of dollars per year on each student. And when you look at the numbers, we do spend a lot. We want to spend more. We want to spend more and the only way we can justify that to the taxpayers of the state of New York is by proving to them that we're getting results. And so together, I, as governor, will fight vigorously every day to give you the resources, to give you the autonomy, to give you the respect, to give you the capacity in your classroom to do what you need to do. What I am asking of you is that you put your heart and soul into that effort so that next year, when I have to go back to the legislature to say last year we invested $1.8 additional billion dollars, this year we need more, I have to be able to say, here's the return we're getting. This is what we need to do together. I have no doubt we can do it. I know, and you know, what is at stake. So I look forward to being back here next year to say, not only did we get 1.8 billion, we got 2.5. But when I say that, I also want to be able to report the graduation rate went from 67 to the mid-70s. Still not a passing grade, but one that moves us in the right direction. Let's go home, let's educate our children, and let's see a brighter future. Thank you all so much. It is wonderful to be here.